Death. Cult of Suffering. Cult of Suffering. We should do a video on that. We should do a video on the Cult of Suffering. Tell people it's not something they need to sign up for. No. This is not a Because yoga's right here. It's this moment right now. And it never can be something past it. It's it a cult never of can bliss. be in the future. Welcome to Seriously Lighthearted Yoga. Today we are going to be talking about a specific type of yoga. This is the first one that we're going to kind of be breaking down a little bit for you. And that is Hatha Yoga. Hatha, Hatha, Hatha. Hatha, 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 Hatha Yoga. Anyways, Hatha Yoga, guys, is uh, kind of the first really physical yoga practice that was came about. And it was revitalized a few hundred years ago, like maybe 500-ish years ago, I think. And there are kind of three seminal works on Hatha Yoga. The Hatha Yoga Pradipa, Pradipika, the Garanda Samhita, and the Shiva Samhita. And these three texts, again, outline a lot of the Hatha Yoga practices. The foremost among those texts being the Hatha Yoga Pradipika. It's the one we hear talked about most often. But this style of yoga is based on the philosophy that you, if you perfect your body, liberation comes more easily. So they work very hard on making sure that they kind of reconcile what are known as the solar and lunar energies of your body, the kind of masculine, feminine, yin and yang in yourself. And the word hatha actually gets at that root division in that ha means sun and tha means moon. So hatha, you put that together, you get sun and moon. And again, reconciling those two different energies to bring about perfection of body, which allows you to attain that liberation more easily. It allows you to focus. It allows you to find samadhi with less distraction from yourself. That is kind of the purpose of hatha yoga. And nowadays, in classes, you'll sometimes see hatha yoga. What you can expect from those classes I would think is that the poses are going to be slowed down. You're going to be holding them for longer, and you won't be holding as much of a variety of poses. A lot of the poses in the original texts were seated. There's, of the 84 poses that they talk about, they talk about how there are 84 poses, and then none of them mention all 84. But of all the poses they talk about, one of them is standing, the rest are seated or lying down. So yeah, again, so this is Hatha Yoga. It's just a it's just a style of yoga. Uh, if it intrigues you, sounds good to you, maybe attend a Hatha Yoga class near you. Um, that sounds <laughs> it's kind of a weird way to put that, but it might be worth attending, expanding your, your yoga practice. Maybe this isn't something that you're into, but it might be worth checking out at least once. Uh, it never hurts to try, right? Or at least hopefully it doesn't hurt. So don't, don't hurt yourself. Hurt. <laughs> uh, Hatha Yoga. I am so. No, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, for sure. We will uh, see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions about that, please let us know. Uh, our email is available at the end of this video, uh, as well as you can comment. And uh, anyway, give somebody a high five, subscribe, like, and share. We will see you guys all later. Tomorrow.